Welcome to Reveille. Today's call to action is Take Ownership of Education, Part 2. I believe a movement like we've never seen before is underway now. Teachers and support staff have taken to the streets like we recently saw in Arizona, Colorado, Oklahoma, and West Virginia. Marches to state capitals have become a common tactic, and in some states, marchers have refused to leave until something is done. Civil disobedience has to be an integral part of this movement. Nothing makes school board members and legislators feel the heat than when confronted face to face by hundreds, if not thousands of organized teachers and support staff. But let's control the debate. On the news recently was a celebrity who applauded the images from marches and protests in several states. The report was very favorable, but at the end, the celebrity said that all teachers should be paid a living wage. A living wage? Let rich celebrities try to make ends meet on a living wage. As I've said before, it's not just about pay raises for teachers and support personnel, though they all deserve better, but funding education is about much more than that. It's more about funding for our schools, funding for supplies that teachers have to purchase with their own money, new books to replace books that are out of date, and repair broken chairs in classrooms. It's about funding for cleaner classrooms and bathrooms and to pay for better security. It's about funding for more teachers and support staff to reduce class size and invest in more in technology and state-of-the-art hardware and software. Let's take ownership of education. Support our teachers and support personnel. Engage in civil disobedience. Support teachers and allied candidates for public office. Register and vote in 2018.